just to think about captain's draft we can predict all we want but it takes like half a second for this draft to continue and 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 move forward which is really interesting it's like oh you cure the topper in spot mind control will come in with two tangos he's also got the tango or rather two mangoes two tangos oh, in south. Die. They, now they're gonna get caught there oh my god Lehigh's about to fall they can't quite get him they woke up to the high ground they're gonna save the last hit he's gonna fairy fire and instead of killing him oh, it'll take a bit longer but the last right click from kuroki will get the job done they do not however secure the bounty as this bottom lane is probably gonna be the most interesting lane here with the uh, top lane being the second most interesting as, as terms of fights and what's going to break out next, but uh oh, my control might be in trouble. Icarus dive, there's going to be the fire spirits as well. And Pycat has the spot spider link, so that is a dead mind control. As Pycat will get the kill, he actually did a lot of damage to both Pycat and Equa. Doesn't have a stout shield either, so getting that early crack control is usually pretty important. But he actually grabbed Gush here. Yeah, that's interesting. Ice shards, they had the invis room for Jirax. They're gonna snowball it, and Weeha might be in trouble yet again. Body box coming through. They need two more right clicks. Gonna get the job done. Actually, just the one for Fata. I didn't know he was gonna have the damage to get it, but he did. Major on to ganking. And in a lot of cases, mid sky is gonna get under level, but that's because he doesn't have very good fun. Uh -oh. He's a single target hero. Milan, they get the smoke up. There's the snowball. They're gonna get off the frostbite here momentarily. Dark pack will fly. They don't even need it. They could frostbite Nico if they yeah, want maybe. to. Oh, it's on cooldown, actually. Kristanova, I thought he didn't use it there, but here comes the quill sprays. It's actually a lot of damage coming up from both of the heroes of Sox, as well as... It'll get canceled by the creep wave, however, and he is in deep trouble. He's going to try to run back to the tower, but Temple Man's also low in HP as well, but it looks like Jirax will fall to maybe one or two more quill sprays. He will snowball and actually head towards the north, but it looks like the last quill spray will go, and Sox will get this kill. Meanwhile, Fata picks up what I imagine to be a solo kill on the Scarif Mage at the top rune scan, but now there's a smoke coming out. This one from Shadow Shaman, and uh, Nick was nearby as well with a curse type at the ready. Maybe they can bring him down the concussion shot. There's the ancient the others through the shackles. Mystic Flare. And finally, they will get themselves a much needed kill with Nico picking up the last hit. Very good roaming gank, but they did to an early game lineup. It's better for them to go for early game items then. And they have just they have decent damage, but not amazing damage on Mama's voice. So if you can keep somebody alive during some Oh, Sox are gonna get caught. Matumba Man's gonna find the kill. He has to pop the shadow dance. Nico is gonna come in with the sunray. Not quite on the mark. Now it is, as he's doing a lot of damage to Matumba Man. He'll try to regen up here momentarily. Sometimes been completely worth it for them so far. She's got no tower damage done. Which I guess isn't that surprising considering who she's up against. We'll have that thought. Bottom lane, Fada's gonna get caught. There's the fire spirits going through. He's gonna try to hightail it out of there. This is the so Google Go. Sunray's up as well, doing some decent damage. He's pretty tanky with the bracer, but still getting caught. Now jumping in, the pass will come through. There's gonna be the Acre side. Requiem gets off. It's a double Requiem as he dies. It goes down. Fata will provide the kill for Nikwa, but now it's hightailing it out of two. They're for Liquid as they're going to get chased down by Soxa. This Kisizugu continues to get stacked upon Kuroki. He's got Crystal Nova. The Frostbite will come out, and this chase will conclude with just the two kills going by. Die right away. Yeah. So I really like the early choice. Plus, he doesn't need mech since the Tide Hunter already has it. So I think he's got a great item choice here. Sentry's going to get placed down. Pycat will be dusted as well, and he now can't go into Tree Line. The freezing kill will fly Kuroki, and Fatsu will find themselves. A nice pickoff, but here we go. In a position to take this team fight as they retreat. They're ready yeah, to go. Here's the pits of maneuver. Nikwa does not have his level six hit. The Ravage will fly. It's on to three. Weha gets obliterated by the anchor smash coming through. They still have Gush. Nikwa will Icarus dive away. They have Gush to use. He's going to get across the tree line. Trying to be away. Will not make it. The Gush comes through. Gets a great double kill for mind control. And that was. I believe Matumbo Man and Fox go ahead and rush alone. Looks like Matumbo Man's kind of low, but he's fine. Fox is just going to work with his right click. As Rapper right coming in, Kuroki's gonna get silenced up. Won't go down though. Here comes Drax coming through with the snowball. Now the freezing field of Weha did not sign up to be that cold. He'll go down to a big kill. Top lane, there's gonna be my control. Get God, that was so much money. That That's a lot of gold. Got. Holy crap. That was amazing. Oh boy, Nikwa. Ooh, they just missed the pounds. Good at Chris Dive, but the snowball will still come through the Ice Shards Walrus Punch. Gets off the Fire Spirits. Can't Icarus dive, he just used it. The supernova will go, and I'm sure he's just gonna die. He does a lot of damage to Jirax and Man. If he had gotten the TP rotation of it too earlier, might have been as Pycat continues attack. to creep cut top lane. Is he ever gonna buy an item? I, I, I don't know, man. I have absolutely have no idea. He can clearly afford the Radiance oh. if he wants it. Radiance he get Shadow Shaman on the side there. That was a oh. uh, blink slur. Yeah, I, I the, like the little outline of like crystals on the hero yeah. or something like that. I know what you're talking about. Well, hold that thought. This is a fight that's about to break out. Jarek is gonna get sounds up. Shackles long range. RK Ball BKB is popped by Fonte. He says, listen, you want to go toe to toe? I'm ready to fight. I'm a big bad boy. Ready to go to work for Shadow Fiend. So they're gonna pop the drum. There's the veil going in as well. Ravage is at the ready. Milan will drop the Serpent Wars, but he'll die because of it. Dominating spree. But some man blinks it. He'll find Riha as well. And look at that damage. But some man will get that kill. No Aegis left ready to go. Nikwa had a supernova still getting chased down. 
they already have a Scarath Mage, so their their burst is pretty focused. Dyer's if right. they do a Silence on somebody, and he's got a dagger on top of that, they can get a kill. Oh. And it would allow him to maybe kill like Crystal Mage. Saxa, your Crimson Guard is not going to save you now. Well, maybe it will. Last right quick. Now, just kidding. Bots would get the make the kill spree. This is a good hex coming up from Milan, but it was not enough to save his ally. Except a man will blink and go straight for Rehog. Getty finds himself in the pounds. Mystic Flare is used, but the veil comes out as it happens. Nequa will get hit twice, then have to Icarus dive away. Now they're diving base. And and this looks to be perhaps the beginning of the end here for Mama's Boys in game number one. Fats are going to work here up in the to carry, man. He's so good against so many different uh, against so many different heroes. He absolutely is wrecking this mid Skyrath. It's just like I said. He jumps on your mid Skyrath and he kills them because your Skyrath has no armor. Skyrath is not very effective against heroes that are super tanky and do physical damage. So and he just keeps blinking and killing people. Yep. He's being very aggressive. He's got two ultimate orbs for the beginnings of his Scotty. They will buy back onto Nikwa, and it looks like Nikwa who didn't want to back away, but instead they just throw up the Ravage. There's the Veil as well. They get off the Supernova in time. My control is hexed up. It's a pretty good Supernova, but it is going to fall almost immediately. The Freezing Field will fly for the Broki. Red Bloom will go, and the team fight is too damn much. Four dead. There it is. And Mama's Boys will tap out here in game number one. Liquid absolutely trounced Mama's Boys here, giving them only five kills away to the other side of the map. Very impressive stuff from Team Liquid here. They won every single lane in this game, with the exception of maybe Brood, but I, I think Tide farmed actually ridiculously fast. So did Brood, but he got more out of it. He translates better to team fights, so it's obviously better to take equal farm on a Tide as a, as a Brood mother. So, man, they just completely shut down Mama's voice there. Their draft is better, I think, almost always. Like, I love Skyrath Mage, and I think he's occasionally an okay mid hero, but not against.